What is going on, man? We are gonna talk about this Marquise Jackson. Uh, he's the son of Fifty Cent. And I want to talk about this kid because yeah, he's going viral for the for the statements he's doing. It's more viral because six seven hundred dollars to, to the average American, yeah, that's a lot of money. Now, what I'm talking about is Fifty Cent was with his mother, hence he was born. Right? They broke up. Of course, child support comes in order. Six seven hundred was the requirement. I believe that's more than enough. If six seven hundred is a requirement for him, how much is the requirement from the mother to put into addition to help raise that child? Now, granted, Fifty Cent has a you know lavish lifestyle. They live in New York City, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But if you do the math, that's around eighty one thousand dollars a year just in child support. Not to mention you live in New York City. The mother should be working. The son is definitely at working age. He's not working. I really want people to understand what you're doing when you put yourself in such a financial burden to keep up with the Joneses, to keep up a certain lifestyle. Now, yes, that's 50 Cent's son. They both uh, disowned each other. They don't have any sort of... um, relationship with each other now think about this if he's not helping out he's not doing anything extra now he he has done things as he's gotten older he's bought him a house he's got him car he's done a bunch of different things for him but the relationship is just not working out if sixty seven hundred dollars is not is not enough you can recognize that it's not enough in new york city where is it good enough let me tell you where it's good enough at. It's good enough in South Bend, Indiana. Majority of my cities in Indiana is good enough. Majority of the cities in the country is good enough. New York City is one of those cities, man, where if you're not living or making a certain amount, don't put yourself in a burden where you feel like you have to stay in the market. But understand that everything goes up over time. Everything is appreciated over time. Move. Get up and move. I'm sorry. I am sorry. But if you can't afford to live in a certain area, why force yourself to go through it? Well, you can move somewhere else and it's a little bit cheaper. Get yourself together. You know, save up enough money. And then when you're ready to move back, move back. I can understand trying to put myself in his shoes that he's a celebrity. He has an image he has to uphold. His father is who he is. You know, he has enemies. So, you know, but there's there's, there's an amount of privilege with that way of thinking. That $6,700 is not enough, you know. And if his mother was disgruntled with his father and they just really couldn't afford it, why why have your child see that burden? And why not be someone who says, look, maybe you need to stay with your father because right now I have to get myself together. You have to be disciplined to understand that. If he put all that money aside, saved it, did something with it, invested it, whatever. I mean, I even heard a story that 50 Cent said one time with his son where he was trying to get him motivated in doing business, trying to get him that entrepreneur mindset. I mean, it, it was to the point where he bought a whole sneaker shop that was going out of business and he shipped it down to Atlanta to his son to resell online. And this is before StockX. This is before a lot of those big companies. And uh, he decided not to do it. And, you know, him and his mom came back with a different plan. I don't know why we're so hard on this black man for setting the standards for his son, regardless of how we like it. Because think about it, regardless of race, creed, color, whatever, this is crazy to me because the richest man in the world says the same thing. They're not leaving their sons anything. They're not giving their sons a dime. They're going to donate everything. They're going to spend everything before they die. What I want people to take from this story is that, look, Regardless of what he's saying, forget what he's saying. Understand that if you can't live in a certain city, you got to move, man. I'm sorry. Like, I had nothing when I started out. I knew I couldn't just pick up from South Bend, Indiana, and then move my butt over to California. I knew that. I knew I couldn't move to New York City. I knew that. Like you have to understand that and be realistic and understand that everything is just not going to be given to you. You have to work for it. Yeah, man. What you got to think about 50 Cent's son, man? Is he is he tripping or is he like, eh, 
you know, he makes sense. No excuses, back at it.